Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual Regina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys a career slash finances update. We have pile one here, Golden Healers Quartz, very, very stunning crystal. And then we have pile two here, Atlantean Quartz, also just bloody beautiful. Uh, this is a beautiful piece of crystal here. So Paul 1, Paul 2 for your message around career finances. This is a timeless reading. Just doing an energetic cleanse to reset your energy, to reset my energy, to call on your guide, your higher self. And now I will commence. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Paul 1s. This will be for if you chose the, chose the Golden Healers Quartz. This will be your reading. And by the way, you see my calluses. I do weight lift. So that's why my hands look so rough. All right. So we have one card coming in here for you to describe your overall energy when it comes to money and we have that card being changed. So I feel that either you are working towards um, an internal shift in my money because it, it always happens internally first. Um, yeah, you are working towards a shift in money because you're realizing that your previous way of doing things just aren't working in what you're wanting to manifest and what you're trying to manifest all right so we'll take a look at energy surrounding you what the universe wants you to know challenges ahead support available and overall advice all right i'm just going to show you all right um two coming out there so i want one one We have the five of swords yeah there's definitely some negative energy you have around money this uh stick here is still going with the universe and that's not a bad thing by the way um that just means that there's things coming up to be cleared clearing your emotional body i think will be a really big thing for you especially because we do have the star here so clearing your emotional body when it comes to the idea of finances, when it comes to the idea of money, will be a great benefit to you. We also have here the eight of, wa eight of wands. We have the 10 of cup, excuse me, 10 of pentacles. Beautiful coming in for a career reading, career finance, career finances reading, excuse me. And one more here, overall advice. The overall advice being the eight of pentacles all right so i definitely feel that again like i was saying in the beginning there's a new perspective that you can have around money that will greatly elevate um your experience with man with trying to call in more money or with manifesting um more money here this five of pentacles excuse me see i, I we must have five of pentacles somewhere because i keep getting the swords and pentacles mixed up today uh, but with the five of swords here, a new perspective is needed around money again. One that is deep, one that impacts you emotionally. So knowing that all um, manifestations stem from emotion, right? Emotion is the first thing that we develop as kids um, in particular. I don't know if this was, I, I, ha I didn't research to see if this was backed by any science, but apparently our emotional self develops first followed by our intellectual self, all right? So keeping that in mind. Um, but overall, I feel from these cards is that you are on a very specific journey to manifesting what you want. And again, I, I do feel that whatever you are seeking are in the cards, but there is a pivot or there is a shift needed, particularly in how you mentally perceive money because it's like the, the emotional aspect is impacting you. But I feel that with you guys, it's more so the mental aspect. Um, the universe wants you to know that at this time, there is some deep healing that can be done around money um, or working with your emotional body. When it comes to money, I think a great crystal to work with would be pyrite. Pyrite is what is called fool's gold, but it does elevate the spirit. It does change cellular, cellular memory. And I feel that with you guys, you have more so of a negative cellular cell you learn memory when it comes to money so there is this need to be 
that there is this need to purify yourself. There is a need to nourish yourself when it comes to money. You need to uh, see yourself as lucky, as divine, um, as spring, as flowering. And um, what challenges are ahead, we do have the Eight of Wands. And uh, definitely needing to center yourself, center your energy, ground yourself at this time of change. Um, I do sense, like, I do sense pretty swiftly here something, because this is a, the Aquarius card, right? And Aquarius season, I want to say, hasn't passed. I want to say Aquarius season is coming up here in a few. I could be wrong about that. But I know it's Aries. We are in Aries season currently. And again, time is not relative. But if you're watching this as I put it out, we are in the beginning portion of Aries season. But yeah, I just I do feel very hopeful energy with you guys. But it is contingent on you shifting whatever this Five of Swords is. So I guess we will get some more insight on this Five of Swords. So in the bottom of the deck here, before I change it, we have the Six of Wands, King of Cups. Exactly. Your emotional well-being is the first step in manifesting what you perceive to be more abundance, right? Like we we are always abundance. We are always masterful of this reality. We just have forgotten. Excuse me. Uh, we just have forgotten. Are we quite... We can't quite remember what it means, but we do have that memory stored deep into it in our DNA. So yeah, your your reading is very interesting here, Paul Wands, because I do feel that you are already undergoing change when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to um, your finances, career, right? But it's also like there's a deeper layer needed. We have Queen of Wands here and one more. Thank you. We have the lover here. So aligning with the perspective that nourishes your creativity and that nourishes your heart. This is all this your reading in particular, Paul Ones, is about nourishing your spirit, is about nourishing your core energy. So it's kind of like a lubrication, if you will, to receiving the abund the abundance that you seek. I feel that you can also do some solo plus plexus work your solar plexus feels just not you don't believe that you are not worthy but not believing in the possibility of being able to manifest basically is what is being highlighted here uh there's this deep sense of not believing in what you can manifest and that needing to change uh and yet going back to your challenges ahead i think your main challenge is kind of being like ADD, ADHD, like needing to censor yourself on one thing, on one topic and sticking with it. Um, not oscillating between different task, tasks, but rather sticking with one task, task, seeing that to completion and then beginning another task will be highly, highly beneficial for you. Um, and we also have here support available being the 10 of pentacles, overall advice, the eight of pentacles. Definitely developing, I think your family can be a benefit to you, someone in your family, someone in your family may be an entrepreneur or just have had their their share of trying to manifest abundance and whether this be consciously or subconsciously, working with them and working with the energy that they were in perhaps or even using them like as a baseline. But yeah, your your situation feels like I feel that you have a certain trajectory or a certain path that you perceive to be able to like be the path to manifest what you are wanting um and so just sticking with that sticking with systems that work for you systems that have proven themselves and if you can't find a system that has done that um then creating one yourself um creating total prosperity for yourself um abundance wealth Creating paradise on earth will basically be your challenge um, and overall advice for you. Realizing what you truly need to be happy is going to be a really big thing to you for you as well. And not basing your happiness on other people's happiness, rather tapping into your own subjective happiness and what that means to you. Uh, and then we have your money card here being this thing. 
for me, I feel that this is kind of like saying that it's only a matter of time before you manifest what you want. It's only a matter of time before the floodgates open and money's like almost as like they're it's like the saying they print money like it's going out of style is the saying or something like that that's what i feel with you guys it's like it's like uh it's going to happen pretty fast for you guys all right so we have the crown chakra just two cards clarifying here for more advice wow and we have the third eye chakra so working with your heart and your solar plexus at this time the third eye is directly informed by the solar plexus and the crown is directly informed by the heart and also listening to cosmic direction a lot of your money manifesting or your manifestation abilities when it comes to money um are divinely led are, are divinely guided it's um it's like little insights that you receive and so making a space to where you can receive those insights would be greatly beneficial to, to you and for you. All right, so that will be all for my Power Ones. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if this was the Power that you picked. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Power Twos. This will be for if you chose the gorgeous, and I mean really gorgeous here, um, Atlantean Quartz. This will be your... Uh, career slash finance finances update excuse me all right so just hopping into your reading we're going to pull one card to represent your overall energy when it comes to money So we have here compassion. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to send, to stand by others without judgment and be divine me mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart into the world. So I feel that your heart has a lot to do with what you are wanting to call in at this time. Um, your heart has a lot of the answers. Um, and also the perception that you have around this chakra. All right, so we go over energy surrounding you, what the universe wants you to know, challenges ahead, support available, and overall advice. So energy surrounding you at this time, you have the Ten of Swords. So very um, in line with this compassion card. Ten of Swords deals with your heart and needing to become clear or finding that clarity, even if it's painful. All right, finding a painful clarity is kind of what the Ten of Swords represents. What does the universe want you to know at this time? <clears throat> what does the universe want Paul want to know? Excuse me. We have the Five of Swords. Challenges ahead for my Pal Twos. We have the Temperance card, Support Available, we have Death card, Queen of Swords, so funny we have Compassion with the Queen of Swords, and Overall Advice. Overall advice, we have the Two of Swords. So, sorry, I'm just trying to move all these over so they all fit nicely. All right, so just jumping right into your reading. Again, there's not a loss that you need to deal with, but a painful realization when it comes to career finances. I feel that you have a lot of negative energy when it comes to money or like a negative imprint. More specifically, when it comes to money, perhaps you grew up in poverty or you just have, I'll just, again, a lot of a negative, painful experiences when it comes to money and it's hardened into your being. It's hardened and it's kind of become a part of who you are as a person. And now what they're saying is, is that now is the time for a perspective change, a deep 
perspective shift that deals with emotion so that impacts your emotional body things that cause great change not only impact mental strength but also emotional body and emotional strength and i just feel that with you guys it's also about realizing possibilities you can live life from a very limited mindset we do have the four of pentacles four of pentacles for me can be it can be about stability but also limitations or oh, the st the limitations that stability brings and truly how we are always changing and always evolving let's see what's behind that knight of cups exactly your emotions are going to be huge at this time and navigating them may feel really scary you may feel like you lack experience in this arena i just feel like the sense possibly of inadequacy or like kind of like pushing against the tide or like pedaling against the current if you will and so the challenge that you will face will be calling in balance for these emotion and also calling in healing energy for these emotion the temperance card is for me it's like kind of about a second chance here and not even a second chance after a previous wrongdoing but a second chance, like, I need to, it's kind of like I need to come correct, basically. I need to find this place of equilibrium. I need to find cosmic awareness. I need to find balance, the middle way, moderation. And also, again, just like this beautiful um, chance given to this endeavor. Um, and so we have support available death with queen of swords so you can be objective about your situation you don't have to be emotionally involved and in painting this emotional story this big story around your current financial circumstances again this is all about i feel that with me um it's always like emotion 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 but really with you guys yes it's going to be about your emotional health and also your emotional strength and they're saying that you can decide, you know, you can decide to tell yourself the same story over and over again. It's kind of like saying the saying, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Telling yourself the same story over and over again and expecting your circumstances to change. Is that really how we go about change? Or do we have to physically embody a different version of ourselves in order to uh, to have like the that catalyst or like to experience that catalyst so I just, I just feel that with you guys this is definitely first have compassion with yourself and what you've been through right because we do have the compassion card but at the end of the day I do feel that this is about telling yourself the same story over and over again and kind of being baffled as to why, <laughs> kind of being baffled kind of being confused as to why things haven't changed but it's literally because you keep telling yourself the same story over and over again so what they're saying with especially with this death and queen of swords you have to have an ego death you have to allow for this transformation to take place you have to allow for this deep inner shift to take place and you also have to allow for an, a different perspective right um the queen of swords is someone who has seen pain but she has lived through it and she lives on. So living through the pain that you are experiencing around money, working through the pain that you are experiencing around abundance, around money, just being honest with how you're truly feeling and expecting things to change at that point once you are honest with yourself. But I think this denotes honesty. Honestly, I never, I've never read the temperance card as honesty, but it does kind of have that vibe to it that feeling to it where you have to be honest about where you currently are and we have the um chariot there triumph so you will experience success when once you have this beautiful energetic shift and we do <laughs> we have the death death card here again with the strength card and positive movement forward the eight of pentacles so you once you have this inner strength or once you at least try to seek this inner strength out it will find you you don't have to do much work they're saying and we have this card here i feel that you guys could be feeling like you're living 
you're like pinching pennies or this could even be saving for like saving what you don't use perhaps for me though it feels like this is more so of a scarcity mindset um so working through scarcity mindset knowing that the universe is infinitely infinitely abundant and how do we know this well we know that there's like so much grass outside there's so much life in the rainforest you have to really tune to nature when you are wanting to tune into the true nature of the universe and i do feel that is reflected in nature meaning like look at the rainforest like how we don't even know how many species there are because there's just that many in the rainforest how deep and what an abyss the ocean is like just looking tapping into um the universe around us all right so thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like comment subscribe leave a comment down below if this was your pal and if you found resonance in it thank you so much for watching namaste